where does the line y is equal to 2x plus 2? Cut the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 10. Now, I've drawn a rough sketch of the line. So I know the line has a gradient of 2 and a y-intercept of 2. So this is the gradient. Uh, so 2 is the gradient. And uh, this 2 is the y-intercept. That's why the y-intercept is 2 here. And you've got a gradient of 1. So this is the next point. So I hope you understand the gradient is 2. The rise is 2 and the run is 1. So and this circle has a center of 0, 0 and a radius of square root of 10, which is 3 point something. So basically the question is, you want to find this point and this point. So I'll try to explain first graphically and then we'll do it algebraically. So the question is, where does this line, so this line, this is the line y is equal to 2x plus 2. And this is the circle. This is the equation of the circle. So, uh, so let's write the equation again. Y is equal to two x plus two is the equation of the circle, and the equation of the sorry equation of the line and the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to ten. So to find the point of intersection, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute two x plus two in place of y. So if y is 2x plus 2, in place of y, I'm going to put 2x plus 2 in this equation. So this equation will change to x squared plus 2x plus 2. The whole squared is equal to 10. Okay, so expanding this, so this is x squared plus, I'll write this as 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2 times 2x plus 2 is equal to 10. So this is x squared, same as it is. Now 2x times 2x is 4x squared plus 2x times 2, which is 4x. Then 2 times 2x is again 4x. And 2 times 2 is 4, so lots of 4 is equal to 10. So let's simplify first the left-hand side. So we can group this two. So these are like terms, and these are also like terms. So let us group that first. So this becomes 5x squared plus 8x plus 4. I should have written 10 here. This is 10 here. So I'm going to take away 10 from both sides. So minus 10 is equal to 10 minus 10. So taking 10 from both sides, so this becomes 5x squared plus 8x. And this simplifies to plus or take away 6 or minus 6 is equal to 0. So now you can use the quadratic formula or you can also use the uh, calculator. So let's use the calculator to figure out x. So this is a quadratic equation. So we need to find the values of x we'll be having. You can use this formula, quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, if you don't, if you're not allowed to use a calculator. But I'll use the calculator to save time. So you have got, oops, uh, menu. And I'll go to equations. Uh, equation, and then I have to go to polynomial, and this is the second degree. So your A is 5, your B is 8, and your C is negative 6. And then solve it. So you've got two answers, 0 0.55647, and rounding to how many decimal places, or I would say 0 0.55 or 56 and 2 point, negative 2.16. So rounding into 2dp, I can say x is equal to, so you can say using gc. I'm writing graphic calculator, to be honest. So we have said x is equal to 0 0.56 and or 
x is equal to negative 2.1, negative 2.16. Now both of them are in 2dp. So now you can use the formula y is equal to 2x plus 2. We know y is equal to 2x plus 2. So if you put this in this equation, you will get y. I have calculated that you can do that at own time. So this is 3.11. Okay, when x is 0 0.56, this will be 0 0.11. And here y would be negative, uh, negative 2.31. We'll check this on a calculator, so both of them are in 2dp. How can we do this graphically? So let, that's something we need to check. Okay, so let us get the calculator. Go to your graph menu. Go to your graph menu and type in 2x plus 2 in the first equation. So this is your uh, line. And for the second equation, I'll have to explain before we enter. So this, so let us, let me show the working here. So y squared is equal to 10 minus x squared. y is equal to 10 minus x squared. This implies y is equal to plus or minus square root of 10 minus x squared. So we have to trick the calculator. We have to draw this top bit, this top bit is square root of plus square root of 10 minus x squared and this bottom bit is minus square root of 10 minus x squared. I'll show this on a calculator. So we'll have to find two answers separately because a circle by definition is not a function because this cuts the y-axis at two points. So your graph and your calculator cannot draw both the complete circle in this in this menu. So I'll type in shift square root bracket 10 minus x squared. So it'll draw the top bit or the semicircle. So can you see it has drawn the this bit and now I want to find this point of intersection which is 0 0.55 I think so G sol and intersection. Can you see 0 0.56 and 3.11 is the uh, top intersection. Okay, so this is this answer we have got or we have checked on the calculator. Now to get this, this bit, I have to type in this. So I'll go to exit and I'll type in, put a minus there. Okay, and this will draw the bottom bit. I'll let it scroll up. So this is a point of intersection and G sol intersect. So this is negative 1 point, negative 2.16, negative 